Good. Now you can hear me. Good. Sorry, I think it had been muted. So I was saying that we are starting or we want to look at a topic called matrices. And in the matrices, there is one application called Markov. And Markov is simply the study of how events move from one state to another state in future. From one state to another state in future. That is what we call Markov. We are going to illustrate using some questions. We are going to illustrate using some questions uh, so that we can get a good study about that. So in the past papers, I want us to start with the question of May 2015, question 2B. The question of May 2015, question 2B. May 2015, question 2B. So you are there. Uh -huh. I can see like you're talking, but uh, you are muted. You can unmute yourself. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I told you I am seeing it. Question 2B 2015. The one that starts with excellent computer. Yes, excellent computers. Good. So it says that Excel Computers Limited deals in the production of printer ribbons. Out of the total number of customers who use the company's printer ribbons in a given year, 20% use competitors' ribbons the following year. Out of the total number of customers who use competitors' ribbons in a given year, 30% switch to Excel Computers Limited ribbons the following year. Is that that first of December 2014, Excellent Computers Limited had a total market share of 55%. So you are told to get the transition market. So transition market, when you are in Markov and you are told to prepare a transition market, transition market, the design is like this. On this side, we say from, from, there are two computers, there are two companies here. There is one that is called Excellent. And then we have the competitor. Two, Excellent. And competitor. So those are the two items of the two companies that are competing. So we draw the matrix like this. A matrix is simply a rectangular arrangement of numbers. That's the design. And with that, we are going to be arguing like this, from excellent to excellent, or from excellent to competitor. So 
If you read the question, it says, out of the total number of customers who use the company's printer ribbons in a given year, 20% use competitor's ribbons the following year. So the meaning of that is that they move from excellent to the competitor 20%. 20%. So you know you have. That means this company excellent will retain 0.8 because it has lost 20%, so it has retained 80%. Then we are told. Uh, out of the total number of customers who use competitors ribbon in a given year, 30% switch to exit. So from competitor to exit here, it is 0 0.3. So competitor retains 0 0.7. Competitor retains 0 0.7. So that is what we call a transition matrix. It shows the movement from two. So that is the answer for Roman one. That is the answer for Roman one. Hmm. Now we go to Roman two. Excellent computers limited total market share as of that first of December 2015. So, if you are told to get 2015, you get it like this. That 1st of December 2014, 2014, you multiply by transition matrix, transition matrix, transition matrix, should be equal to that first of December, 2015. So as I've told you, transition or map of analysis is a study of how items move from one state to another state after some time. So we want to see the customers who are there in 2014, and they go through a transition. Transition is, a, is an experience that makes you to either remain where you are or you change to a different level. Like what you are going through right now, as I teach you, is a transition. Now, this transition will move you from a person who has not passed QA to a person who has passed QA. So it will make you pass to the next level. So we can now see you before the exams, then after going through the transition after the exams. That's basically what you mean. So you now take 2014, we are told that excellent, uh, excellent, we have excellent here, and then the competitor is written here. According to the information, we are told that excellent had a total market share of 55%. So excellent is 55. And because the total must be 100, it means the competitor had 45%. 45%. So this one, you multiply by the transition matrix. Transition matrix is this one that we have got here. 0 0.8, 0 0.3, then 0 0.2, and 0 0.7. So to get the answer, to get the answer, what happens? You take these values in this row, you multiply by the values in this column as you want them. This way, you multiply. We, we normally say you create a seven. So it is going to be 0 0.55 times 0 0.8 plus 0 0.2 times 0 0.3. 0 0.45 times 0 0.3. That will be the first one. 
Then the second value, you repeat the same. You now take these values in this row, you multiply by these ones in this column. This is called a column. This is a number in a column. Then this one in a row. So you take this one, multiply by this, and that will give us 0 0.55 times 0 0.2 times 0 0.2 plus 0 0.45 times 0 0.7. Times 0 0.7. So if you take the calc, you will find 0 0.55 times 0 0.8 plus 0 0.45 times 0 0.3 equals 0 0.575. And the other one is 0 0.55 times 0 0.2 plus 0.45 times 0.7, and that gives you 0 0.425, 0 0.425. So that means now, as At that first of December 2015, excellent will have this one now. You, you express it as a percent. This one. So it's going to be 57.5%. And the competitor. Competitor, you express this as a percent, it will be 42.5%. So those are the answers to Roman 2. Those are the answers to Roman 2. Okay. Then Roman 3 says you get the Roman market share. So this one is argued like this. Uh, let X to be the long run share for exit. The long run share for exit. Let X be the long run share for exit. Why? to be the wrong run share. The wrong run share for competitor. For competitor. Where? Where x plus y is equal to one. X plus y is equal to one. Because if you remember what I've been doing, like now we have to go to December, zero plus eight, uh, zero point eight plus zero point two is one. Zero point three plus zero point seven is one. Zero point five five, zero point four five is one. So the values in the row must always add to one. 
So if they must always add one, it means that y can also be obtained as one minus x. Y minus x. Then what to do? Just like we took now this 55 and 45, now we are going to take x and y. X and y. So we have x here. But instead of bringing y here, we bring 1 minus x to present y. 1 minus x, lastly, to multiply the transition matrix. Transition matrix, just like we did here, that is 0 0.8 and 0 0.3, 0 0.2 and 0 0.7. And the answers that we shall get, just like we got 57 and 42, uh, in the long run, we say it is x, 1 minus x. Long run is called the equilibrium because it was in a pattern. So this side is the same as this side in the long run. So you now multiply. Just like we have multiplied here, what I have told you, you take these values here, multiply this. So we are going to take these ones, we multiply downwards. So it will be 0 0.8x plus 0 0.3 minus 0 0.3x. These two, when you multiply by 0 0.3, you get this. And then the answer should be this x. So Nazema equals x is equal to x. So you seem to put right terms together, whereby you have 0.8x minus 0.3x minus 1x. This one, to put on this other side, it will be negative should be equal to minus 0 0.3. So this three goes to the other side to become negative. Goes to the other side to become negative. Now, when that happens, when that happens, you proceed with the solution Proceed with the solution and you tell us uh, 0 0.8 minus 0 0.3 minus 1 is minus 0 0.5x is equal to minus 0 0.3. So x is minus 0 0.3, you divide by minus 0 0.5. Divide by, and that is giving me 0 0.6. And this, if you remember up there, we can say x plus y is 1. So y, which is 1 minus x. So y should be 0 0.4. Y is 0 0.4. So now we say hence wrong run shares, market shares, wrong run market shares. That is where it will still rise. Excellent will be commanding 60% of the market. Excellent, we commanding 60% of the market. While the competitor, the competitor will be commanding 40% of the market. Will be commanding 40%. And that's where things now will stabilize. And this is what now you hear, like in politics, you hear of someone's bedroom or someone's stronghold. That is 
where things have stabilized. You cannot change those people. Are we okay at that point? Yes, we are very much together. Good. So let's now for a question that has three companies now. Uh -huh. I want us to go to December 2013. December 2013. Question one uh, C. December 2019, question one C. One B or one C? Yeah. Is it question one B? It is one C. One C. I am not seeing C in question. Oh, okay. Oh, it is B. The one for Huduma Hospital. Yes, that is B. B. Okay, good. Yeah, why? Uh, yeah, I can see, can see. So we are saying that it is the December 2019, it's So the question says that Uduma Hospital operates three types of wards, namely intensive care unit, ICU, High dependency unit, HDU, and the general ward, that is GW. The average monthly cost of maintaining a patient in each of the wards are shillings 400,000, shillings 200,000, and shillings 100,000 for the ICU, high dependency, and general ward, respectively. First information on patients indicate that. One, 50% of the patients in ICU at the beginning of the month will remain in ICU at the end of the month, and 50% will be transferred to high dependency by the end of the month. 10% of the patients in high dependency at the beginning of the month will be transferred to ICU by the end of the month, whereas 50% will remain in high dependency unit and 40% transferred to general ward by the end of the month. 85% of the patients in general ward at the beginning of the month will remain in general ward at the end of the month, whereas 10% to 5% will be transferred to high dependency and ICU respectively by the end of the month. Past hospital record indicate that the hospital admits an average of 5,000 patients Monday. At the beginning of December 2013, the hospital had 10%, 25%, and 65% of its patients in ICU, high dependency, in general ward, respectively. So you are told to get the matrix of transition probabilities. So transition matrix. Transition matrix. So I have told you transition matrix. This side we say from, so from ICU 
high dependency and the general ward. And the general ward. Then on this other side, we say two ICU high dependency units and the general wards and the general wards. So you can see the style of the transition matrix. This side is a from and here too. So we prepare that now. And according to the question at hand, we are told by information one, by information number one, that 50% of the patients in ICU at the beginning will remain. So those who remain, it is from ICU to ICU, 0 0.5. Those ones will remain, ICU to ICU. And then at the end of the month, 50% will be transferred to high dependency. So from ICU to high dependency, it is 0 0.5. It's 0 0.5. And because I told you these values must add to one, they must always add to one, then this one now becomes zero. Because 0 0.5, 0 0.5 is already one. Information two says 10% of the patients in the high dependency at the beginning of the month will be transferred to the ICU by the end of the month. So from high dependency to ICU 0 0.1, to ICU 0 0.1. And then 50% uh, remain in high dependency. So from high dependency to high dependency, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Then uh, 40 will be transferred to the general world. So this is 0 0.4. And again, you can see that uh, these ones, they are adding to one, they're adding to one. When you go to information uh, three, we are told that 85% of the patients in general ward at the beginning of the month will remain in general ward. So from general ward to general ward, it is 0 0.85, 0 0.85. And then we are further told that 10% and 5% will go to high dependency and high school, respectively. So those who will go to ICU, it is 5% and high dependency is 10%. So that is the transition matrix. Then we are told to get the expected proportion of patients by the end of December 2013. We could uh, start by or other. Uh, end of December 2013. So as you are saying, there's been a, trans a transition. You get start of December, start of December 2013, start of December 2013, Multiply by transition matrix. Multiply by transition matrix. You should get now what you want. End of December. End of December 2013. If you get what was there at the beginning, who we'll subject them to the transition processes you get what is there at the end. So according to our question there, you can see 
that I see you at the beginning of the month had 0.1, 10%. This other one had 25%. And the general world had 65%. And the general world had 65%. So that was at the start of December. Then you multiply by the transition matrix, this one. 0 0.5, 0 0.1, and 0 0.05. Uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0 0.1. Oh, sorry. Zero, zero point four, and zero point eight five. So we are now looking for this one. I want to put it that way because my space for working is not enough there. So I have to work it below there. So as I told you, what you do, you take this row, you multiply by this column as you want. So for the ICU, which is the first one, this is supposed to be ICU. This is uh, high dependency and this is general ward. That is how they are following each other. So for the ICU, it will be 0 0.1 times 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 times 0 0.1 plus 0 0.65 times 0 0.05. So when I multiply 0.1 times 0.5 plus 0.25 times 0.1 plus 0.65 times 0.05, I am getting 0 0.1075. So that is the answer that I shall bring here, 0 0.1075. And the answer that I shall bring there, now I go to for high dependence. So for the high dependency unit, we repeat the same this way. So that I have 0 0.1 times 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 times 0 0.5 plus 0 0.65 times 0 0.1 C. So when I multiply that, I get 0 0.1 times 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 times 0 0.5 plus 0 0.65 times 0 0.1. And we get 0 0.240 C. So this is 0 0.24. Now I go to look for the general ward. For the general ward, uh, it is going to be 0 0.1 times 0, 0 0.25 times 0 0.4 plus 0 0.65 times 0 0.85. So uh, this would be 0 0.25 times 0 0.4 plus 0 0.65 times 0 0.85. I get 0 0.6525, 0 0.6525. 
two five. Zero point six five two five. So that is the answer here. Zero point six five two five. Have a minute. Okay, so Mohammed, are you okay now? Yes, Mr. Kimani. Yes. We are fine, then. Eh? Yes, ma'am. Yes, 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 I'm here. Okay. All right, so then we can proceed. Uh, so we have given the answer to the second requirement, the expected proportion of patients that will be in the ICU high frequency detainment ward. Then we are told to get the steady state. Steady state is the other word for the long run. So I want to run here. And say, that this, what we call wrong run, it is also called steady state. It's also called steady state. You can also call it equilibrium. Equilibrium state. And we say to what you do, you begin by saying let x to be the share 
in ICU. Why to be the share in high dependency units? Said to be the share in general wards where x plus y plus z is equals to one. And then it means that z should be equal to one minus x minus y. Because we said it should always be equal to one. It should always be equal to one. Then you come and put the values here. So that now we have X here, we have Y, but instead of Z, you say one minus X minus Y. To multiply the transition matrix, and instead of getting these answers that we have gotten, instead of those answers, now we will get, we will get X here, we will get Y here, and then here we will get one minus X minus Y. One minus X, minus y. So I have told you what to do. You now multiply. You now multiply. Down there. And when you multiply as you saw this row to multiply this one, we will have uh, 0.5x. This to multiply this plus 0.11. Then this one to multiply the rule of this plus 0.05 minus 0.05x minus 0 0.05 y and the answer that we get is this one is this one so you say equals x is equal to x so now uh, you seek to put right terms together where you have 0 0.5 x minus 0.05x minus x plus 0.1y uh, minus 0.05y. So these ones are together this way. Should be equal to minus 0 0.05 minus 0 0.05. So when you put them in brackets, you solve 0.5 minus 0 0.05 minus 1, I will get minus 0 0.55x. Plus, this other one you say 0.1 minus 0 0.05, it is 0 0.05y being equal to minus 0 0.05. And this one we call it equation number one. That one we call it equation number one. Higher. Because we have two unknowns in this equation, x and y, we require two equations. So I now take these ones and multiply by the second column here. That gives me 0.5x plus 0.5y. This 
This one I multiply here plus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.1x minus 0 0.1y is equal to y. Is equal to y. Now I seek to make uh let's put my terms together so that I have 0 0.5x minus 0 0.1x. These ones belong to x uh, plus 0 0.5y minus 0 0.1y minus y should be equal to minus 0 0.1. So now, if you take your calc, you say 0.5 minus 0.1. You end up with 0.4x plus, actually that now will become minus uh, 0.5 minus 0.1 minus 1. So it's minus 0.6y equals equals minus 0.1. And this is equation number two. That is equation number two. If you have two equations and you want to solve using matrix, you want to solve using matrix algebra. So we say expressing the equations, expressing the equations in matrix form. In matrix form, because you are in matrices, I want us to use matrix method. You will get minus 0 0.55, 0 0.05, 0 0.4, and minus 0 0.6. So, as you can see, what we do, you take these coefficients. You take the coefficients, they come to this side. To multiply the unknowns xy, to multiply the unknowns xy, which should now be equal to the answers here, minus 0 0.05 and minus 0 0.1. That way, so you express the equations in matrix form. That is how they are expressed. Then on solving, on solving, you will get x here and y on this side. x, y, this one, the actual on its own side. Then this one to close over to this side. And it closes over like this. Minus 0 0.55, 0 0.4, uh, 0 0.05, minus 0 0.6 and because it has crossed over the side it comes in as an inverse inverse is normally written by putting minus one up there by putting minus one then you multiply minus 0 0.05 and minus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.1. So you proceed and first of all get the determinant. You get the determinant. Now determinant, determinant is given as 
determinant, you get these values. These ones are called major diagonal, and these ones are called minor. E na ito a major, this is called minor. So you take the values of the major uh, is equal to minus 0 0.55 times minus 0 0.6. Then you subtract the values in the minor diagonal, 0 0.4 times uh, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05. So when I take the calc, I'm able to say times minus 0.55, then I minus, open the brackets, 0.4 times 0 0.05. And the determinant is 0 0.31. 0 0.31. Then we get new matrix. New matrix. So new matrix is obtained by you come to this matrix, this one, you change the positions of the major diagonal. You change positions of the major diagonal. So this one will be 0 0.6, which is negative. And here, minus 0 0.55. That is the first thing. And then you change the signs. You change the signs of the minor diagonal. So this comes in as minus 0 0.4, and this other one comes in as minus 0 0.05. That is the new matrix. That's the new matrix. So then this becomes xy, xy is equal to one out of the determinants one out of 0 0.31, you now multiply by the new matrix. You multiply by the new matrix, which is minus 0 0.6, minus 0 0.4, then minus 0 0.05, and minus 0 0.55. That way, Uh, to come and multiply this other one, which is minus 0 0.05 and minus 0 0.1. That way, Just a minute.
Yes. Okay, so we are proceeding. Now proceeding. Uh, One out of 0 0.31. Uh, as I told you what we do, you multiply this row with this color. So we are going to say minus 0 0.6 times minus 0 0.05 plus minus 0 0.05 times minus 0.1. I have. Then you take this one multiplied by this minus 0.4 times minus 0 0.05. Plus uh, minus point five five, point five, five, five. Minus, minus one. Five, five, five. Are we okay, Mohammed? Yes, yes, yes. Good. So we proceed and now get uh, one out of zero point three one. So we take those values and half minus 0.6 times minus 0 0.05 plus minus 0 0.05 times minus 0 0.1. It is 0 0.035. And that one you divide by this 0 0.31. So you divide by 0.31. And I get 0 0.1129. Then I take minus 0 0.4 times minus 0 0.05 plus minus 0 0.55 times minus 0.1. I'm getting 0 0.075. You divide by 0.31. And the answer here is zero point two four one nine. Now remember, this one was x, and this is y. X y. X y. Thus, x, we are saying it is uh, 0 0.1129, y, it is 0 0.2419, 0 0.2419, and z is equal to 1 minus 0 0.1129, 
minus 0 0.2419, which is equal to which is equal to uh, 1 minus 0 0.1129 minus 0 0.2419 is 0 0.64. 5, 2, 0 0.6452. So that is the long run share. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Kimani. Yeah. Thank you. I understood it well. But it is a very, very long process. <laughs> we are not even through. What do you mean? <laughs> because you go to X and Y and Z. The question had asked us to get the costs. So hold on. <laughs> what do you mean? We are not even through. So now uh, we have been asked to get the the costs. We have been asked to get the steady costs. So, uh, we are supposed to prepare something like this now. We have the world. The summary, let me call it the summary. We have the words, and then we get the CD costs. So the first one is ICU. So the argument will proceed like this ICU as a proportion of uh, 0 0.1129. And the whole hospital has 5,000 patients. So you multiply by 5,000. That tells you how many patients will be in the ICU. Then every patient in the ICU is costing us 400,000. We come and do the same here with high dependency, uh, which has 0 0.2419 times 5,000. And the patient there is costing 200,000. Then the general wall is 0 0.6452 times 5,000. Multiplied by a hundred thousand. So that means times five thousand times one exponential five is three twenty two million six hundred thousand point two four one nine. Times five exponential three times two exponential five is two forty one nine hundred ten point one one two nine times five thousand times four hundred thousand is two twenty five. Eight hundred. So plus two forty one nine and eight thousand plus three twenty two six hundred thousand. That gives us total of seven hundred ninety three hundred thousand. So if you are the manager of that hospital, those are the costs for that month. So that is the end of it, Mohammed.
It was very long, but uh, once I get the notes, I believe it will be fine. Yeah, it will be clear once the books come. I, yeah. I, I wanted to tell you, I also, I am going into a meeting at 10 a.m. now, so I don't think if you can continue. You don't think? If you can continue, I'm going to another meeting at 10 a.m., which is four minutes past. Let me get closer to my... I have another meeting at 10 a.m. right now. So I oh. think uh, that too is enough. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Karibu sana. So you will tell me when we can have another class, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will tell you definitely. But the one for tomorrow remains, eh? Is that, yeah? No, no, the one for tomorrow remains. Okay, so if you have some other time, you let me know. Thank you so much. Thank you, good day.